From a 200-foot tower left standing after a powerful blast and a stubborn bridge that just won't come down, to a massive smokestack falling the wrong way and an abandoned fire station collapsing without warning, here are seven structure demolitions gone horribly wrong. Sioux Falls is the most populated city in South Dakota. It's also the former home of the Zip Feed Mill, which once stood as the tallest occupiable structure in South Dakota from its construction in the 1950s to its attempted demolition in 2005. Now we say attempted because things didn't go according to plan. On December 3rd of 2005, a crowd gathered to watch the Zip Tower crumble. Instead, they got a memory that would last forever in Sioux Falls history. Silence sets in amongst the crowd as they wait for the zip tower to blow. Explosives detonate around the building's base, and it falls one story. But that is where it stays. The crowd laughs as the zip tower refuses to come down. Even the birds weren't scared away by the pathetic explosion. So why didn't the zip tower fall? Well, according to local reports, the zip tower was just really well built. The blast caused the lower part to fall into its own basement, and the whole tower just leaned to one side. Demolition crews spent the next two weeks trying to tip the zip with a crane and a wrecking ball. East Bend, North Carolina is a small town of just over 600 people. Apparently, good help is hard to come by if you're trying to tear down a cement silo, that is. An East Bend couple hired two dudes and their backhoe to tear down this old silo. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. The bucket extends as far as it can and kisses the cement structure. It pushes ever so gently, so slow that it's almost hard to notice. Then the silo collapses and falls the wrong way, crashing into the white house behind it. The woman's gasp says it all. It's not uncommon for demolition crews to use heavy machinery to take down buildings. Other than backhoes, they'll use bulldozers, cranes with wrecking balls, and concrete crushers. Of course, those crews are trained professionals. We'll go out on a limb and say these two guys were just, well, two guys with a backhoe. Surat is a city on the west coast of India and sits on the banks of the Arabian Sea. They're one of the largest urban areas in western India and are responsible for 90% of the world's diamond cutting which explains why they're often called India's Diamond City. The city has grown rapidly in the past decades, meaning old buildings must be torn down to make way for new, modern structures. A 30-year-old fire station, specifically the residential quarters, stood in the way of a new metro rail project. In September of 2021, they finally tore it down. A jackhammer attached to the excavator drills away at one of the cement support beams. Two men are standing too close for comfort, which tells us that they don't expect the building to come down. 
The heavy machine moves to the next pillar, and right before it starts smashing, the whole structure comes tumbling down, sending the two men running from the dust cloud. Props to the guy who keeps a straight face the whole time. According to the Times of India, the dust cloud was way bigger than expected. Visibility fell to zero, and panic set in as traffic had to stop on both sides of the road. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the building fell. An official said they'd look into the situation to see if there was any negligence on the contractor's part. Otherwise, they never received any complaints about the demolition. They planned to rebuild the fire station and residential complex to abide by modern Diamond City standards. Pell City is a small city in northern Alabama, founded in the late 1800s by a railroad investor named George Pell. Around this time, a series of textile factories called the Avondale Mills went up all over the state, employing thousands of Alabamians. One of the Avondale buildings acted as a notable landmark in Pell City for over a century. The mill officially closed in 2006, when the company had to eliminate 2,000 jobs across six Alabama plants. Then, a fire destroyed most of the mill in 2008. The story takes another turn in November of 2015, when a demolition team failed not once, but twice to blow up the old Avondale smokestack, a 158-foot structure that stood for 113 years. Yeah, he appears fine. You can see where the initial blasts failed to bring down the century-old tower. That's when Tim Filfer and his backhoe went in to clean up the job. He starts digging at the side, ideally trying to make the smokestack fall away from him. It finally collapses, but things turn ugly when it falls right on top of Tim. Rescue workers rush onto the scene as the dust clears. Thankfully, Tim made it out okay. Now, according to Tim, they hit the smokestack with a 32-pound charge around 9 a.m., but all it did was leave a hole in the 2.6 million pound structure. They hit it again an hour later, but the explosion only weakened the base. That's when he decided to go in with the backhoe. Unlike East Bend, North Carolina, about 6.5 million people live in Shangrao, a prefecture-level city in Jiangxi Province, China. Unfortunately, Jiangxi has had a few too many demolition accidents in recent years. On July 29th of 2018, a demo crew in Shangrao arrived at an old abandoned building. We can assume it was on its last legs, and tearing it down should have been a piece of cake. But the crew grossly miscalculated which way a five-story building would fall after they got started. The building crumbles right on top of the excavator, and the arm goes clean through the fourth floor window. We get a closer angle of the accident as a massive cloud of dust fills the street. A quick glimpse of the aftermath hints that the excavator is okay, but what about the driver? Reports indicate that he made it out in time and didn't suffer any injuries. As for which way the building was supposed to fall, we can't say for sure. Reports from China are limited about the accident itself.
Ahmedabad is the fifth most populated city in India, with just over 6.3 million people, putting them on par with Toronto and Madrid. They were selected as part of India's Smart Cities mission, which aimed to transform cities across the country into what they call smart cities. Of course, this requires lots of new buildings and the tearing down of old, dilapidated structures. One of those structures was an old water tower in the Chandkida district. The plan was simple, tip the tower into the wide open area and clean up. But that's not what happened. You can see a flimsy piece of rope or wire pulling on the tower as our camera operator gets a good vantage point. The tower gives way at the bottom, but falls towards the house directly behind it. The spiral staircase crumbles like paper as the structure collapses and implodes. A woman screams as the dust settles, and we cut to see the damage from the ground level. Somebody has some explaining to do. Believe it or not, this was the third water tower to accidentally fall on someone's house in just one month. According to the Times of India, 11 people lived in the house when they were told to evacuate by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation, or the AMC, the people in charge of knocking down these water towers. 55-year-old Eknath Shenki built the house two years prior and lived there with his elderly parents and eight other family members. He said the AMC just showed up and said they had to leave that afternoon. Hopefully, they compensated Eknath for the damage and gave his family a place to stay while he rebuilds. The first Broadway bridge used to span over the Arkansas River, connecting Little Rock and North Little Rock. The nearly 100-year-old arch bridge was built in 1923 and demolished in October of 2016. However, that demolition didn't go quite as planned. A crowd gathered to say goodbye to the bridge they'd known all their lives. Meanwhile, a contractor made several cuts in the steel to pre-weaken the bridge. They placed enough explosive charges to bring the bridge down, or so they thought, and hightailed it to safety. What happened next quickly achieved meme status. So now what? Shouldn't it be falling? The crowd watches as everyone aims their cameras at the soon to be gone bridge. We see the explosion before hearing it, but nothing else happens. People start laughing, and one guy asks the question on everyone's mind Okay, so now what? The dust cloud blows away, and the Broadway bridge is still standing. According to the Arkansas Times, the bridge finally fell five hours later. Unfortunately, all anybody could do was sit around and wait. The weakened bridge still posed a big problem because nobody could go near it. It could fall at any time, so the waiting game was their only option. Danny Stresla, who works for the Arkansas Highway and Transportation Department, said the bridge was a testament to how solid the structure was. While the old bridge's destruction was delayed a few hours, the new Broadway bridge opened several weeks ahead of schedule in 2017. Hopefully, it's just as sturdy as its predecessor. To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.